Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Crate Training 101. We train Mickey. How you doing, Mickey? Huh? Doing pretty good? So, you guys know that crate training is a very serious topic, very serious issue for many pet parents that's trying to train their pup, uh, regardless of whatever situation, whether you're training them to stay inside, barking or whining. Um, this making good behavior has always been an issue for many pet parents. How do you stop them from whining, barking or crying or having bad social behavior? Things like that. But crate training involves a lot of just patience as well too. And I'm still here to take you step by step with Mickey how to crate train um, the simplest way, the easiest way and to take you, take you step by step of how I did it with Mickey and how we went from crate training to housebreaking. Housebreaking means pretty much Mickey is now free to roam anywhere in the house. I don't need a crate no more to look after her because she's independent now. I don't need a crate to do it. So that's housebreaking. Once you get down to crate training, you can see that her, her behavior is really well done. There's a time when she gets older, she can now be housebroken. Right, Nikki? Look at toys. Goodness. It's been quite a while since uh, Mickey has really been in this crate. She doesn't really use it anymore. So the crate training sample is going to be a little bit different. I want to see if I can get her back to the routine again because it's been a while. We haven't used this crate in a long time. So first things first, we want to make sure that you guys have a crate at home. Uh, I mean, depending on your situation, whatever size crate will do for the time being. Uh, I will definitely use a bigger crate. Uh, definitely a size like this. This is a 24 by 36 crate. It's a perfect size, meaning that you have a place to sleep and a place for potty in case you can't watch after her, right? So a, a perfect size crate is very important too. She also have another crate, in my opinion, where she sleeps at night. So that's very important, right Mickey? Let's get this started really quick. I'm gonna open the crate really quick. Okay, I'm gonna open the crate. This one has a, uh, a, a top part here, ledge. Oh, that's the bottom part. It opens up. And like I said before, Mickey hasn't been in this crate for a while. Mickey, what's inside, Mickey? So first things first though, you wanna make sure that you get her to be familiar with the crate. Make her feel comfortable. If she's not comfortable with the crate, she's gonna whine, she's gonna cry. The purpose of the crate is for her to have a safety place, a, a comfortable place, uh, a place where she can just go inside to sleep. Uh, by putting her in a crate out of punishment, you're definitely sending the wrong message. You want to make sure that she's comfortable inside. Make her feel home and roomy. I like to put a kind of like a little blanket on top to make it feel like it's a little, little house going on. I'll give her some light in the bottom too. Uh, that will definitely help. You can actually put a, a water bottle inside as well too. You can do that just to make her feel like it's it's her own little space, her own little area to play with too. Treats is your best friend. Give her treats. She's gonna want to give her some treats, right? So, let's get her comfortable first with the treats by the crate. And then, go here. Okay. Mmm. And then get, get her closer to the crate as much as possible. You just want her to be comfortable with the crate. That this crate is not uh, a jail cell or anything. It's her home. That's supposed to be her place of resting and place of comfort. Right, Mickey? <laughs> now she's in the crate now because of the treat. So we're gonna continue with that process. Nikki, 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 treat, Nikki, yeah. 
Mickey. Now, Mickey's in the crate. She's familiar with the crate. She's free to go in and out of the crate. That's what you want. Now she's hopping back in. Use treats is a good way to make her learn and make her feel welcome with the crate. And then put the treat deeper inside the crate. Now she's in the crate. So just keep repeating the process with the treats. And then she'll be familiar again with, with the crate and going back inside. So it's always possible to reward her while she's in the crate that the crate is it's not a harmful place to be. It's a very safe, quiet place to be. Hey, come with me. So now, Mickey's back in the crate. Good job, Mickey. Good job. Oh, Mickey, did your treat fell? Okay, hey, have another one. Mmm. Treat fell, Mickey. There you go. So notice now that Mickey's inside the crate, relaxing, very, very calm. She feels very calm on the crate. And she has her favorite treat. Here you go, Mickey. Now she's inside, resting. Remember how she was very hesitant at first? But she's getting uh, used to it now. If, remember the whole time, keep the door open. Don't slam on her yet. Do not close the door on her. Closing the door on her is going to give her a bad reaction. She's going to think that this is uh, a place where she's not going to get out of. So, Mickey? One more treat? That's it. Bring her back outside. Mickey, there you go. Now she's going outside. Okay. put it on her bed and get her familiar with the crate again with her bed inside it too so Mickey is looking for the crate Mickey, you ready to play? you ready to play? you ready to play? go! go get it Mickey and of course make her hop inside to get the toy so She's gonna go in and out. She's gonna realize that the toy is inside the crate that she has to go grab it. So your whole point of this is just to make sure that uh, she's in the crate, she's comfortable, she's relaxed. She doesn't feel like it's, it's gonna keep her inside, you know? At this very time, you want to reward her again. Yeah, Mickey. There you go. Reward her. And grab the toys. Toys. And then she's gonna hop back in. Ready to play? Ready to play? Ready to play? Go, Mickey, go! Go get it, Mickey! She's gonna hop back in, and of course, she'll be exploring the crate again. Get her as familiar as possible, and leave the door open. Once she's inside the crate, give her a treat. Good job, Mickey! Good job! Each time she's in the crate, each time she, that she hops in the crate, give her a treat. You also want to use your puppy's favorite toy. If you have your puppy's favorite toy, that will actually help with her process with the crate. Go get it, Mickey! Go get it, Mickey! And she hops in. So that helps to get her favorite toys and then bring her in slowly, gradually. Just let her experience it. Don't close the door on her. You should bring her back. There you go, Mickey. Good job. Grab the toys again. Come on, Mickey. Mickey, you ready to play? Go. Go get it, Mickey. Go get it. Mickey, go get it. Go 
get it, Mickey. Go get it. She's gonna hop back in inside again. Good job. Here you go, Mickey. Ooh. She's hopping inside the crate again. Just keep rewarding her. Every single time she hops in. Treats and then toys. Get her familiar with the toys inside the crate. That way, she knows that inside the crate, there's toys and there's yummy treats. So if you hop inside, there's treats available. That's why she wants to hop in. Look at her. Good job, Mickey. You like the little bed now? Look at her. Oh, good job, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Want to treat again? Here we go. There, here you go, Mickey. Huh? You got it? Here. Here you go, Mickey. There. Give her treats. Good job, Mickey. Good job, Mickey. As you can see right now, Mickey's relaxed. She's comfortable. Remember, when we first started, she was very hesitant. She wanted to go inside. But now, she's comfortable, she's relaxed. She knows that this is a safe place. Treats and toys make her repeat the process over and over. Make her realize that there's treats inside, that this is an okay place to be inside. Mickey, you want another treat? Make sure it's a yummy treat. There you go, Mickey. Good job. So smart, Mickey. A very important treat is a helps a lot when you're in crate training. How are you doing inside, Mickey? You doing pretty good? You doing good, Mickey? Now, once you're familiar with the crate, give her another treat one more, more time. All right. She's very happy now. She understands that being calm too, being relaxed, will get rewarded, right? So, in this state of mind, she's in a crate. Remember, the door never closed. It was open the whole time. Don't close the door on her the very first time. Just get her into the, the part of learning that the crate is completely safe. That's what you want. A, a safe haven. She relaxed. Now Mickey is very calm and very steady. We're going to be working on part two of the crate training now. Part two of training, meaning the door closes. That's the part two. Part two of the door closing is probably the, going to be the harder part because how she's going to react when the door closes. You want her to be calm too. You guys ready for that? Let's we'll give her one more treat before we close the door. Give her one more treat, okay? Once the door closes, she may react to it or she may not, right? So we're going to close the door. Notice that once the crate door is closed, Mickey is not barking or whining or anything. Well, that's because Mickey already knows that technically, you know, uh, once the door closes, that's nothing wrong. It's, it's, she's safe. She knows she's safe because mommy and daddy's here for her to uh, comfort her, to support her. So let's just say that the crate door closes, but your dog is still whining, still barking, still making a huge noise how do you stop that how do you make her feel comfortable step one we're going to be doing the open and closed door method back and forth back and forth picture mickey right now whining and barking and she wants out she wants out of this crate right now of course your initial reaction is going to be open the crate door as soon as possible the thing is, if you do that, you're setting up for failure at the same time. So picture Mickey right now whining and barking. 
Don't open the crate door. Leave it closed. The moment she stops whining and barking, you're going to slowly open the crate door. The moment she starts whining and barking again, quickly close it. When she becomes quiet and calm, slowly open the crate door. Slowly open the crate door. As long as her body language and her reaction is telling you that she's calm, open the door even more and repeat the steps. The moment that she continues to whine and bark, close the back again. Don't let her whine and bark as a sign of uh, winning for her. Because the moment that she whines and bark uh, and you open the crate door, she wins because she's trying to be alpha. So, Nikki is calm. Open the crate door all the way. The moment that she starts whining and crying, close it. She's crying, she wants out, close it right away. When she stops whining and crying, open it slowly. A little bit, a little bit first, a little bit more. If she's still in good behavior, open a little more. You're telling her that in order for this door to open all the way, that she needs to be in this state. When she's whining and barking, you're telling her that this crate door should be closed. So that's sending her a sending her a signal that okay, I need to be nice, I need to be calm, and I, I need to be uh, relaxed. That's when the door opens for her. If you're whining, you're crying, it closes for her. Open, close method will keep your dog calm. Right, Mickey? Yeah. She's calm. Open the door for her. When she does that, give her a treat. Good job, Mickey. Good job. Calm now. She's very, very in a state of just relaxation. That's what you want. You want her to be in relaxation. So open, close. It's key. So you can hope you guys understand that uh, with crate training, these are the few of my steps that you want to take when you're crate training your dog. Remember that a calm, relaxed behavior. You get rewards. If you want the crate door to open, you get rewards. If you're whining and crying and barking at night as a puppy, that door should not open. So this will send her that signal that in order to have good stuff, toys, in order to have treats, in order to have mommy and daddy be happy, I need to behave good too. So Mickey's already in that state already. She already knows that, uh, oh, I better not whine because that door is going to close on her. Once you get to that point where she is completely trained to be calm and relaxed, this door stays open forever. You will never have to close this door ever again. And Mickey will go in and out. Your puppy will go in and out freely. Once that becomes a natural current, you won't even need the crate no more. She'll be housebroken. Because her, re her reaction is, her behavior is already in that state of mind of just being relaxed and calm. So that's exactly what you want to do with crate training. This will work exactly as well too. Uh, while at nighttime when you're sleeping and you're putting her in the crate. But of course, as a puppy, you do not want to leave her alone as a puppy though. Uh, you, want, you might need to put your crate next to your bedroom so she can see you first for the first, first few weeks. But once you get, uh, once, you, once she gets used to it, it's perfectly fine. 
uh, let her know that the crate is a place to relax and sleep and let her know that it's a, a place to to go in and out. Once you do that process uh, with the crate, you shouldn't have any more problems with crate training. So work on these steps, make her feel welcome, make her feel relaxed in the crate by doing these steps and just re keep repeating it over and over again. Uh, at nighttime, make sure that as a puppy, they don't have a big bladder. Remember that she has a very small bladder. So around at nighttime, she's gonna whine and cry because she needs to go. She needs to go pee and potty. Make sure to take her out at night, around two in the morning, one in the morning. Give her a potty break, make her go pee and poop if needed, and then bring her back into. <laughs> you just burp, Mickey. Yeah, make her pee and poop, and then put her back in the crate again. Give her the calm, relaxing behavior. Let her know that um, to be calm and relaxed, you need to stay calm and then the crate door will open up. So that's what you need to do. Right, Mickey? Yeah. So Mickey is doing such a good job, Mickey. I'm so proud of you. I hope you guys uh, can um, hopefully works out for you guys with crate training. Uh, this, this is how I did it with Mickey. And I hope you guys can uh, hopefully all, all the pet parents can help there's a way to you know give them a calm relaxing behavior with crates Mickey is such a good girl I'm so proud of you Mickey all right guys I uh, hopefully that uh, works out and if you guys have any questions about crate training uh, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time Mickey yeah, there you go. Hey, good girl. Good girl. So smart, Mickey. Huh? All right. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.